Well, good morning and welcome to the Tony Stackwell Sea Fishing Channel. Uh, today, we're going to do something different. Um, Tony's going to take me to the pier and he's going to show me all there is to know about fishing from the pier. Uh, something I've never done before, not in this country anyway, so uh, it will be another school day and who best to learn from but the master. So, um, here he is. Man, that was. Where are we going to today then, Tony? Up the pier. Up the pier, right, okay, okay, See mate. See what's going on up the spawn pier. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, yeah. um, as soon as we get to the pier, I'll, I'll uh, start filming again. Catch you later. Scared. And it just don't pay then, you know. The only way it pays is if you do it yourself. Yeah. And I don't want to do the whole lot at 68. I want to finish by dinner time, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which side are we going? Uh, this side. Good morning. 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 Get the shell for the wind this time, Did I get that wrong? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, the wind's coming from the southeast, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit coloured for place. Yeah. Let's see what happens. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to get into the tackle shop and uh, pay our dues. So, um, I don't know if he's gonna let me film in there, but I'll pop in, let's have a look. I know, that was the plan. That oh. was the plan, but it didn't right. go. Hello, mate. Yeah, you. It's true. Hello, Drew. How do? You all right, right being on video? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got so this is the... get the best side. Yeah. <laughs> get this bit on video, Tony's <laughs> paid. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's a real one. <laughs> yeah, it is a real one. I, I, it's I not one of them fake that. ones that's going round. Yeah. No, yeah. Is that the one yeah. that came through your tail? Yeah. No, it's been right. washed up. <laughs> so if you, if you want to come and fish here, what, what do they have to do, Drew? Just come in and see me first, or Dan. Right. Come in, just tell me, it's obviously OAPs, get it cheaper. Which we are, both OAPs. Do you get it down as membership um, prices? Right. Non-members? Could do for me. Oh, how much are these? 250. Oh, no, I'll wait for mine to come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pricing too, too dear. <laughs> well, no, they are though, yeah, it's right. Well, yeah. But so yeah, what, what is a membership? No, How much is a membership? A membership for a year is 50 quid. 50 quid, right. And does that allow you to fish? That's from 18 in the morning. Yeah. And then um, most nights it's up to 8, maybe 9 o'clock. All depends on the tide and the weather. Right, OK. Thursday's about 11, Friday yeah. and Saturday uh, up to midnight. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. So then a lot of it is all down to the tide as well. Yeah. And if you're not a member, what can you do? Non-members, nine till five. Nine till five, nine right, till okay. Five. That's where the, the membership yeah. gives yeah. you that privilege. Yeah. Come in early. And fish later. Right. And what have you. Okay. But so yeah, non-members, one rod, 10 quid. Right. Um, two rods, 15. Right. So if you're a member, yeah. two rods, it's a tenner. All right, yeah, okay. So you still have to pay for your rods even though you're a member? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. but it, it brings your rod price yeah. down. Yeah. And your hours longer. Yeah. No, that's quite. The yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the beauty of being a member, mate. And you do, you, you can do a, and get a brew in here, get a yeah, cup of tea in here. Yeah, teas, coffees, right. soups. Oh, excellent. Um, All right. Little meal deals. Oh, little meal deal as well. Yeah. For anglers, anglers only. Yeah. All right. Got our own toilet for the anglers. Oh, right. That's, so that's good news. Yeah. 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 So yeah. now it's. Um, and you've got you got you got rigs. Yeah, you've got, got you got bait. Okay, um, you do, I'll tell you what I was wanting to get hold of, and I, I thought maybe you'd have them, but I can't see them there. You know those little plastic things you wrap around the rail to rest your rod on? Ah, there's one thing we haven't got. Right, okay. Yeah, I know what I mean. They look like they're boat rollers. Well, it's, it's, no, the thing that I'm looking at, it's like a, it's like a plastic coated piece of stiff wire, so you can bend it oh, and mould it. Oh, I know yeah. the ones you mean. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I mean, I use a rod bag or something, that's not a problem. Uh, there might even be one kicking around. Alright. So, uh, we normally have a few kicking around, people leave things and what have you. So, right, okay. Well, Tony's got to change. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll look after that. You look after that. Whoops. 
Yeah, yeah Tone, don't say I don't give you anything. Yeah, it's on <laughs> records, on film, I'm giving you a change. That's my change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Yeah. <laughs> What's getting caught at the moment, Drew? Uh, well, today we've had uh, a couple of dogfish come out. All right. But no, we've uh, it's quite coloured, isn't it? A nice smooth hound out the other day. Oh. Just over four pounds on smooth hound. Nice. But, yeah, we've still been getting thorn back. Yeah. So I had a nine pound one out uh, last weekend. Oh. So that's the biggest so far. What time of the day was that? Afternoon, oh, was it? So it was. It was a non-member could have caught that. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've been getting them sort of during yeah. the day or, or something. And, and what were you fishing with for that? Were you using fish baits or were you just? I was on uh, lug. You were lug, and you got a lug. Lug, lug on like the dongle hooks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, the yeah, and a, yeah, drop a like little dropper hook. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, yeah. So okay. I don't know. Oh, seems okay. to work quite well on yeah. them, they, they lip hook them, yeah. get them out easy, yeah. and also, like, sometimes your bait still comes out good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. happy days, <laughs> happy days, up. it's win-win isn't it? But no, so hopefully uh, might find some bass later. Well, there's loads getting caught off beachhead at the moment, I know well, that. that's it, you just never know, do you? I mean to me, the water's really coloured, but then I'll, if you watch the film of the two blokes catching them in the Bristol Channel early on, uh, last week. Yeah. And um, well, they had an 11, 12 pounder. They lost a big one, and they had another one which was probably about eight pound. But the water was, was like milky coffee. It they was, do like it dirty. Yeah. yeah. They like it a bit choppy, yeah. a bit foamy, yeah. a little bit dirty. Yeah. But you'll find them in the surf. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. I mean, I've seen them swimming by your feet. Yeah, you can. Get, a lot of people water. think you'll get them in uh, on, on sort of high waters and that. Uh. But you will get them on a low yeah, tide. Yeah, you can yeah, get them on a low tide. Yeah, because they're scroungers, aren't no, they? No, that's right. They, 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 and I think they switch from sensory hunting to visual hunting when when the water clarifies. Yeah, but so, a lot of it's all standard scent yeah, anyhow. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. so at the moment, there's not a lot of small fish about, so they're, they're feeding off the bottom. Mm. They're on the bottom. Yeah. They take lug in it. They take yeah, yeah. lug at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So there you go, so if you get in here, you can get the advice as to what you need to be doing and then if you haven't got the right gear or the right bait, they'll sell it to you. Yeah. So, oh, you got single velvet swimming crabs. Woohoo! What, are they peelers or, or are they hard shells? Uh, a bit of both at the moment. Right. I've got some in the fridge at the moment. Right. Somebody bought some up. Okay. So, but no, we've got frozen ones yeah. in there mainly. Right. Yeah, but are they are they hard shell or are they or are they, or are they peeling? The ones we've got at the moment uh, are hard. Okay. But the ones that are, the, the fresh ones they're, they're still hard. Right. There's one or two soft ones. Right. In there, but. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Great. We've got no fresh ones in at the moment as proper peelers. Hmm. But they're ideal for the smoothies and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. But it's still everything's feeding off the bottom, so... Yeah. Right, lugs well... Is, lugs as good a bait as anything at the moment. It seems to be catching everything, doesn't it, Lugworm? Yep. Lug will catch pretty much anything. And I've got some really stinky lug. <laughs> Place love it. A yeah. lot of people, they get smelly lug yeah. and they... Uh, won't use that, won't yeah. use that. Put it on your yeah. catch. Place yeah. on them all day And dabs, long. and dabs love it yep. as well, don't they? They, they, they? they sniff it out. Right. I'll come out, we're gonna, we need to get fishing. I'll catch you well, later on. Cheers, bud. See you in a bit, you. mate. Bye. Cut out the bad bit. <laughs> right, well, there's, there's two levels to the pier, so this is the lower level, and um, Joe Plumstead's down here, so um, we're watching fish. He had a dogfish as we arrived, and Tony's fishing up on the top there. So let's have a look at what rig you're using there, Tone. So you've got. Just free up the line, yeah? So it's a standard match rig, really. What's that? Six, Six ounce weight? Lead, yeah. yeah, fed up with fives now. Yeah. Bites. Right. And, and he's goes. Miles too far. It's a place for 50 yards out. But you can always wind back from it. <laughs> yeah, but it's a bit stupid. They're, they're sort of about 50 yards right. out. Right, okay. But the, the sea's probably too coloured today. Yeah, but well, we I mean, I'm hearing dogfish are getting caught in there. Quite so. nick it's dogfish. Yeah. Nice up here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, right, well, I'm going to get this tackled a, up. If you want an idea of here, yeah. Um, when we when I come up here in the summer, yeah. about a month's time, you fish off, off of here, this corner here. Right, okay. There's a mussel bed down there. Right, right, yeah. And 
you used to catch cod there years ago, but right. it's pretty grongy, but you catch some nice fish yeah. on it, you know. But out here, if you sort of angle about 45 degrees, right. and you tend, when the, when the sea's um, ebbing, yeah. after high tide, you tend to pick up the hounds. Oh, okay. It's really good off here for the yeah. hounds. Yeah. Um, and well, I mean, there's been, there have been some hounds caught already, haven't they? So where they are in that corner, yeah. you fish from, see that buoy? You, you cast it towards that them flats there, right? Right in, yeah. Perhaps about eighty yards. Right. You get some cracking fishing off there. It is okay. And then you just angle it, almost cast to the sea. Yeah. Oh, the there's shore, loads of hot yeah. spots. I mean, yeah. Dan will tell you some of the other hot spots yeah. for bass down here and everything. But yeah. I've fished it for years, and some of the that's just a couple of the good places right. on here, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, what, the I mean, here, they fishing along the side. Here, yeah, I bass. bet. I bet. I mean, I was just going to lob out in that direction. Is that no good? Or? Well, you'll be, if you go out that way, you'll be towards that muscle bed, so yeah. it'll be fine. It'll be no. fine. Yeah, Joe's saying it's quite snaggy. Off there. Yeah, it's yeah. quite snaggy, but yeah. if you can get it up, and yeah. say many years ago, it's where we caught the cod. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it changes, you know. Yeah. And out here is a boulder bank, by the way. Oh, okay. They call it the boulder bank, and it's right. just like a reef kind of thing. Right, and okay. Chuck it out. The there. Yeah. Normally get the owls, a bit of that. <laughs> So there's the secret of uh, fishing on the pier. Looking back along the coast there towards Beachy Head uh, and the big wheel. And then looking to the east up towards Langley Point, which we all know. Right, I need to get my rod in the water. So Tony's uh, winding into uh, his Sonic and there's a nice spotty coming up. Not a big one, but well, it's alright, but it's not small. Oh it's little in it, but but there you go, so it's not a blank. Something lives. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a little quick look at this place. It's a nice nice spotty. Oops, sorry. So I know do what you're doing, that's good. Well, that was the mission accomplished in yeah. 10 minutes. Can I go home now? <laughs> <laughs> Just not a big one. No, no, you can't. <laughs> the, I think, uh, like, I, I, I don't want to bore you this, I say it all the time, but because the sea's a bit coloured, yeah. the big ones can't see. Yeah. So the little ones seem to be cuter and they can see. Yeah. So you tend to catch little place rather They're than... probably busier as well, the little yeah. ones, because they've got to compete. Unless you land on one's nose, yeah. it's a different ball game. You know, yeah. you land on one, yeah. Hey. yeah. But uh, that was good because I, I chucked three baits out there. Nothing spectacular, just hoping to get a place. But I mean, there was yeah. the bit, but something's been noshing out the baits because yeah, that one's been they, noshed up. It's had bites, hasn't it? Right, so there you go. So the, the, the master this, hits it off again. This place here, this place here. This place here. I'll tell you now, when I come back from Ollie in a couple of weeks, it'll be smooth. alive with smooth hounds. Yeah. And it'll be, it'll be some terrific fishing here. Yeah. A bit of crab and it will be full of smooth outs. Yeah. And like I said, you chuck out there, tide runs round, bang. Yeah. You have to loosen your drag or take your rod in, you know? Yeah, no, quite. But really good fun, I can't wait, because yeah. it's yeah. my favourite fishing, yeah. really. Yeah, smoothies. And it's a bit of a cheats way out coming up here, but Dan lets me come up, you know, I'm old age pensioner, so I only have to pay a fiver instead yeah. of 15. Yeah. And basically, a couple of hours, just come up, get a couple of hours and go home. Nice whereas one. Whereas on the beach, some some days yeah. they're not there. No, quite. You know, whereas they tend to be further out, yeah. so it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just the, the key to it is good good bait, good crab. Yeah. Even frozen crab's good if you get good frozen, you know? Yeah. Let's put this place back. Hopefully, best I can do, I'm afraid. Should be all right. <laughs> right, I'm going to get my rod up here. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I heard it. Didn't see it. Went a long way. Yeah. You use it. You use in braid throughout on that, aren't you? I use a braided leader. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So Drew is living the dream. He sits in the in the fishing tackle shop up there, drinking tea, and every so often <laughs> comes <laughs> comes down and winds his rod in, and has a beautiful place like that. Look at that beauty spotty. Yeah. Guts are full, aren't they? They're, they're gorging. Yeah, nice and fat now. Yeah, yeah. So nice, nice place. Make sure it ain't tangled. Not too far, Chris. Well up. <laughs> You just got over about 12 place there. And they're probably going, can we have that lugworm back here? Because it's only, you only want to go 50 yards. Right. <laughs> just in there. Yeah, well, it's, that's about where it went. It's a nice reel. Is that a reel, Bazier? <laughs> <laughs> See, he's got a gravity now. He's all happy. Oh, got the, the rod man. and reel, yeah. Got the rod and reel, look at that. Yeah, it's a lot of money having, having an old metal rusty old jetty in it yeah right no, nice rods they are there yeah is. well i'm well recommended i know i know a man who fishes with them all the time very but i know good. several who fish with them all the time yeah very good and the great thing is they come back and stop yeah they're all fed up without selling thing. Oh, anything right so it is filling up down here a little bit now a few more anglers turning up um, it's a nice social place, and you can get a cup of tea in the, uh, the shop, which I've just done. You shouldn't really park in the middle of the No, no, no. You know, no. one goes one side, one goes... It didn't have no change, so... And it, it, oh, is where the, and it is actually where the peg is. The peg is on the groin. Yeah, so that's, well, that's right. Yeah, but you, you have got a right to go in the middle. But what I'm saying is you, you don't. You just go one side or the other yeah. side, and that's it, really. Because, I mean, actually, you're fishing right next to the person on the other side of the groin, aren't you? Exactly, yeah. So, but, that, but, I mean, but within your rights, yeah. you can go to the middle. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, if you wanted to... Yeah. If you did want to set up yeah. the middle, you can. But, it's but it's still, it certainly boxes the guy in your other side. Yeah, yeah. When the tide's belting along down at yeah. any point, you need to... He said he couldn't fish, fish so he went home, and he, he went home course. straight away. That was the day I the conga. Huge conga, I couldn't get it. It was there, and it seen the light and let go. 20 minutes later, Steve Kerr caught it on the next beach. It was about 15 pounds. And he got it in, because it wrapped all around the line. Cool, that, that was some, yeah, pulling you down the beach. Yeah. On, the, on the old pipe beach there. Yeah. There was quite a few last. Pays. No, look, see that, I love him. See the flat head on it? <coughs> yeah. I don't know what it is, flat heads are my favorite lugs. <laughs> If I dug them, I'd make them all look like they're flat heads. I don't know why, because I think it like, when you get to the end there, yeah. that little flat bit just lays nicely. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Smash your little bit of bait, that is. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So what other, what other secrets are there to this pier fishing malarkey? Anything else you need to know? What, what you've got to know first of all is the same old question, I'm afraid, same old thing, is the tides. Yeah. Knowing where that tide's running and which way it's running is mega important. Yeah, and I mean the tide is flooding chuck, at the moment. Obviously, isn't it? whatever way the tide is yeah. going, you want to be chucking up it. Yeah, you know, the right way. But uh, other than that, there's a lot of stuff here which I'm not going to fish today. Down in here, see it down oh, there. All right, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Just, that just cries out fish down there. Oh, cries because bass. Basically, you know, there's fish gliding in and there all day. That's, and if that's, you get underneath that, see that thing there, that chute there, down under here. Certain time of year, about another month, oh you right. can walk right up there, oh right, right okay. and you will see them bass laying in the oh tide. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. come up to the top, and they yes. just lay in the tide, and they're big, yeah. big, big units. Well, know? I'll tell you what it screams, it screams live pouting as bait. Or prawns. Or prawns, yeah. If you're good at, yeah. you know, if you can get some, self, some prawns. Yeah, I can get prawns. Fish it right, you definitely yeah. get them. Well, you could get prawns here, you just got a bloody drop net down. Yeah, you probably could, yeah. But I'm going to get a place there, what? Right, so Tony is now setting his store on a decent sized place. He's had, he's had the, the, the scout. This is going to be a big one. 
right under my nose. Just a gentle, lazy lob. Whoa, he's, you're right, it's not far, is it? knowing yeah if, you, if you've got the knowledge of a peer hmm. I mean I'd love to have uh, at, at some point I was gonna have that shop and that yeah I'd love to because I'll be very very good because yeah you just find out even more things yeah the more you fish the more you yeah. get and you just know when yeah, you go yeah, back yeah. and put it down here yeah um, when Aaron had the peer he fished a lot right he got a much better angler through it because yeah. he knew where to chuck yeah. What times they'll move and all that yeah. kind of thing, you know. There's a, lot, there's a lot of um, watercraft work to do with fishing that people don't take into account. No, I mean, you can understand, I mean, like the lure anglers, you can understand why they don't want to give away their techniques and their locations because there's an awful lot of research yeah, went into finding that spot. There, you know, and people don't sort of realise. I was talking yeah. to my boy and I thought he was gone mad. So did Joe, but he was saying the other day that at low tide when that's rolling in like in the week when it was really rough yeah that he, he lost he got one bass about two and a half pound yeah. catch, and he lost the biggest fish he'd ever hooked yeah yeah he yeah. said he couldn't do anything with it it was no. a bass yeah and he re he said i told joe look for the birds what's he on about oh yeah that's, birds birds definitely i'll tell you now the next night i was yeah. there and paul passed had a nice bass yeah and i looked up i never really know and there's all these birds yeah and all flying around yeah Listen, I didn't get a bass. Yeah, no, 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 no. But he had a bass. Yeah. Someone else had a bass. And he reckons, my boy, that the birds will circle. And obviously, you can see Mark from yeah. Superior. So you yeah. might have sand eels. You can anything yeah, 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 going yeah. around. Yeah. And they're spotting it. Yeah. Of course, the bass are coming up, yeah. eating that or whatever. Yeah. I've never, in all the years of fish, I've never noticed that. I tell you what, and I. Yet he turned around and he said, Told you, Joe, the birds. Yeah. I thought, What's he on about the birds? Oh, no, when you're out of sea, birds. Oh, we know, no, yeah. we know that, but yeah. I've never realised on the beach. Yeah. Well I, well, I used to troll up underneath Seaford Head. Yeah. And even if you get a couple of fulmers or a couple of seagulls just sitting on the water, you, I always it's used to run my lure though. underneath them and I'd catch a bass yeah, every exactly. time. exactly. Because they know. know full well that yeah. We know, like I've done a lot of boat fishing, yeah. I know the birds are working and, yeah. and all that, same all over the world. But I never really noticed it on the shore in yeah. all the years I've been yeah. fishing. Yeah. And, and it doesn't happen all the time. It happens when you've got a rough yeah. sea and when the bass will yeah. come in yeah. on, the, on the sort of flat sand, and yeah. that, you know. You've seen it when a mackerel, though, surely. You've seen it when a mackerel are boiling. The well, it's birds, the same thing, yeah, yeah. The birds are all working, isn't yeah. it? And you can tell the difference between a bird that's just and sitting there and a bird that's working. there's going to be bass working. underneath them yeah. mackerel when you're catching yeah. them mackerel. No, quite. They're eating them for fun, aren't they? Yeah. You know, so. But yeah, it's interesting fishing. It, a lot of people shut off to it and don't realise yeah. there's a lot more to it than people actually think, you know. No. I think I'm going to wind mine in and uh, oh, here, here and comes. The same old thing which we've said a million times. Just when you think you're great at fishing, you get smacked in the <laughs> in the nuts because yeah. basically you get hammered. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, or you just, just have a, you a think blank you're, spot. You've sussed it all out and you get. Well, I mean, Steve. Steve is a is a prime example. Steve's a good angler, really. Well, look at Joe. Yeah. Annihilated me in that match on the Sunday, yeah. and then he comes out Monday night and he got annihilated by that David. Yeah. So it's yeah. just the way it is, isn't it, mate? Up and That's down. night time. Yeah, but I'm just saying it, it's, it's the way it is, you know. So Joe's the opposite to a vampire, he doesn't come out in the dark. <laughs> well, I got him out and he got hammered. <laughs> but only by insulting him on, a, on, a, on his answer phone. Yeah, I said, you got pegged too, he said, I'll have that one then, I'll be all right with that. And this David on one, sort of bad him, but it's the way it is. But yeah. generally Joe, because his distance will beat most people in the day. I don't mind fishing close. But when there's fish, fish there, when there's fish there, it's a yeah. ball game. There's Night a lot of fish. Level, isn't it? But at the moment when there's nothing there, no. you can just get further yeah, and yeah, catch yeah, fish. Yeah. yeah, I mean I've said it for years and I've had some right arguments with people. You have got to be able to cast a long way. Not because you have to cast a long way, but you need to have that in your repertoire because if the fish yeah, are a long way out, you I won't reach them. I don't think people take into account how far he casts. Yeah, yeah. You know. They go, oh, he's not far past me. Long way. Yeah, he is. You know. It doesn't look far when you're looking at it, yeah. but actually, you know, it's 20 it's or 30 way. metres maybe. And it puts you in a little yeah. zone on your yeah. own, you know. Yeah. But I, I ain't too worried. If there's fish there, it doesn't matter because you can pull fish in. Yeah. You know, it's when there's nothing there. Yeah. You know. I did mention yesterday about 
casting day, third of June. Yes, yeah, third of June. Do that. I've had a couple of guys, yeah. one guy coming from Devon, right? and he said, Look, I want to come up and watch one of your matches, yeah. I'd like to fish one. I said, well, if you come up on the third, yeah. we'll actually help you with your casting, yeah. outside the angling, we'll do all that for yeah. you, and, and basically, you can fish the match if you want. So You've got a little break from the matches at the moment, when's, when's the I'm next match? I'm going to have a break, I'm going to do... The 30th? Yep, yeah, that's Sunday. And then I think we might have to take a break because all the outcomes, all yeah. the jet skis and the people yeah. swimming. and So we might yeah. have to take a break. Maybe we'll do a couple of but evenings. Smoothies, smoothies. Smoothies should be turning we'll up We'll probably soon. do an evening smoothie yeah, match. Yeah, yeah, Because you, know, you can say I'm going to take a break, but we could have an evening match, yeah. Saturday evening, yeah. and, and it finishes at nine or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And then we could all go down to the pub and have a couple yeah. of beers and or it, whatever and, you, you know, want. In another, another couple of weeks, it'll be still light at nine. Yeah, it'd be lovely. But I think these day ones with all the people on the beaches and swimmers and that, yeah. it's not really going to be fair. So it is, probably knock it on the as you can see, it is a bit snaggy here. I've already lost one set of gear and it looks like Drew's pulling out the plug as well. Going to wire my rod in, see if I've got any bait left on it because I haven't really been paying attention to it. And then, um, but it's a little bit quieter now. I've not seen many fish coming in. Um, let's, have a look. let's have a look up here. See what else you got here. Oh, oh hello, Salah. Hello. <laughs> How you doing, mate? I'm with Joe Plumstead. Yeah, with Joe Plumstead. Maestro. Yeah, the maestro. And 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 big the, the big maestro oh, yeah. who doesn't want to be on film today. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. The the godfather of maestros. So we've got the we've got the tackle shop here, which we've already been in, but also down here is the uh, the gift shop. So um, if you're not catching any fish, you can come and have a look in here and see what sort of gifts they've got going on. Nice t-shirts. Lots of saucy postcards. <laughs> And there's Eastbourne. See the Sovereign Tower out there. That's, that's being decommissioned now, so uh, it'll be taken down beyond long. I don't know if you can actually see this on the, on the GoPro because it's a bit tiny speck on the horizon. But it's, uh, it's the Sovereign Tower out there. Yeah, about where my finger's pointing. Um, yeah, so Eastbourne Pier. They have got a toilet here, but it is for fishermen only. Um, so if you're down here and you suddenly get taken short, there is somewhere you can go, uh, which is nice and clean. Tone's fishing in a slightly different direction now, and he has had, had quite a substantial bite on it, but it seems to have gone quiet. Yeah, just don't seem to be doing anything. I think yeah. it's a dogfish and probably yeah. playing with it. I didn't see, I was up there yeah. talking to Simon. They said it went really well. There's nothing there though. Quite chilly today, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, the forecast wasn't, wasn't going to be warm, so I've got this, this thing on. I don't know, it's, it's just a little tiny there. tab. Not much tide there now either. No. The only other thing, it could be a place and that would lay there. Yeah. If you know what I mean. But I think it's a dogfish. I wasn't here, but no. the way they said it was really dope. But, you know, there's a few rays getting caught. Rays do that yeah. as well, don't they? You get a big bite as they go onto it and then they just suck yeah. themselves onto the bottom. Oh, we'll find out in a minute. We'll, when he comes to wind it, we'll put the film back on. It's a very social place to come fishing. 
So there's a lot of chatting and uh, gas bagging going on. There's no reason it should be doing that. No. <laughs> no tide, look what. Oh, God, don't say he missed it. There's something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on into it. Hold on into it. Yeah. Well, hang on, no. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get it, yeah. No. I'll just leave it there and see what happens. Yeah, well, there's a good right. fish, whatever it is. Well, it's just doing that because it's loose. There's no reason why it shouldn't be, why it's pulling down. Do what you want, but uh, at the time of it, I don't know about now. Make sure you're real fast, get that dead tight, real fast, because you don't want it on, hanging on the bottom if it ain't decent. Hell of a bite. Keep it going. Oh, the lid's come out. Yeah, he missed it, didn't he? Bloody rod nearly went over. Wow. Don't know what that was. I've only got little hooks and little baits on there. Yeah. Oh, it was going over the top of the really? tree. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't strike it or nothing because I didn't know what was going on. It no, just no. went right over and just kept going. Nothing. That's a shame. Yeah. It's a hell of a bite. I've only got little tiny bits of worm on there. Yeah. I thought you had it for a minute. Well, I thought when, when I, as I lifted it up, it felt like it was the ledge. Something, still. I bet that's stripped. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. Something hit that. In the look. The middle of it was straight down, isn't it? Something hit that big time, that. Uh, yeah. That's a place. Yeah. But that's, could have been anything. Something's hit that, a bass or something. It's a really yeah. good bite. Oh, well. <laughs> Too busy gas bagging and mucking yeah. about and filming things and I'm going to concentrate on me fishing now, I think. At the moment, I'm blanking. Can't happen. What's that then? Where are you in? Is that you? Down here. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's a wind up. <laughs> Neil. Come on, mate, you all right? Keep going. That's okay. Carry on. Carry on. Keep going. Oh, lies. <laughs> I said it was a funny bite, didn't I? Yeah, keep going. Oh, oh. Another doggy line here, this doggy's here. That was a bite after all that, you clowns. <laughs> Circus clowns. What are the clowns? Yeah. Got a dog on here. Do you want to see the bite? Yeah, leave it again, There's a bite. No, he's got to film it. Watch. <laughs> see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Dog on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're pulling my line down there, are you? Oh, it's a helm. Dog spider. Dog. And, and a good thing about fishing on a pier is you get an audience. Yeah, banter. <laughs> no, <laughs> on the banter no, I'm trail. looking behind you. Oh no. <laughs> I thought it was one of the really mean. Well, it was, but obviously there was a uh, fish as well. There was a bite. Yeah? Yeah, it's a dogfish. I believe. <laughs> Dog. Yeah, doggy. Dog. Well, a truly tangled up dog. Oh. Rock salmon. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't call it rock salmon anymore because yeah. I think it was trade descriptions. Oh, it's my favourite But if you ask him nicely, he can let you have it. Oh, boy, it's fine. That's a Nick one on rock salmon, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's been on there a while, isn't it? I think it's just the way he's etting and rolled up on itself. Yeah.
Yeah, I mean, that's how they defend themselves is by rolling themselves around things, isn't it? So it's probably what he's trying to do. So anyway, there we go. Who let the dogs out, yeah. Unless you want him for your tea. I'll put him back. Mr. <laughs> Rooney, hmm. it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Is that mine? That's yours. Do you lime? Nobody winding. Oh, no, there is someone. One, He's winding it? in. Oh, watch out. Could be your mate again. He's winding in. Oh, it is. But then last time it was him winding and he had a fish on, so. No, it's not him. It's him, surely. It can't be. Yeah, it's got to be. Keeps on. I thought that last it's time. Wouldn't in, was it? Oh, it is this time. Yeah. yeah. Fishing with magnets yeah. again. There's a few fish coming in again. That's at the end. They've had a place in the doggy. You right being on a video, by the way, because you've been in the background a bit. You sure? Yeah, it's on Tony's Tony's channel. You right being on a video? No. No. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll, I'll film from your point of view. From my point of view? <laughs> so you had a doggy in a nice little place. Doggy in a nice place, yeah. Yeah, well done. Well done. Maybe they're coming back on the feed again. Should be good. Lovely hey, jubbly. Do we know who caught what? <laughs> I caught it. Yeah, he caught it. I caught it. Caught both of them, doggy and the, and the, yeah. and the place. Right, well done. Well done. That'll be on Tony's Tony's uh, Tackle Sea Fishing Channel. When I get round to editing it. Yeah. You don't pay the penny. Yeah, go on. That's it. That's it. You got fish you got on there? Oh, oh, that's that's you already done. Mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I pulled out some big gobs of it just now. Oh yeah, good God, that's bad, isn't it? I've just picked Tony up now. Yeah, but I know, you know Tony. What I'm saying is, the actual cruise is actually yeah, well, we've we've got we've, seven fifty each. Tony. We've just I'm on we've, Tony's yeah. line now. Are you on Tony's line? Yeah. You sure? You're not. You're made way away from it. Tone, you got a real good bite on here, mate, and it ain't him winding in. It might, so, yeah. He will be in. No, he's not. He's nowhere near you. I can see him on my line now. No, he's not. He's above it. He's about a foot above your 750 line. Seven fifty. You're tightening up, line. It's so cheap, isn't it? <laughs> right and. Uh, yeah, I mean, you will be on this line in a minute, but it's when you bring that fish under, we'll, we'll bring your line underneath it, but... Yeah, no, you're right, because uh, yeah. I haven't picked him up yet. I've got to no. be the other side of him, though, because he's... Uh... Yeah, yes, if you move his rod across... Yeah. Just, yeah, that's it. I need to come round that way. Should. The way that's staying down, there's a fish on it, isn't there? Maybe. Yeah. Mm. Pick someone up, pick Dan up now. I think everyone's gone down the tide. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing about fishing on a pier is is you're all fishing it in the same bit of water and so you will get cross lines. You've just got to learn how to manage that. Yeah, yeah, you got for it. No, there's no fish on there. Lost gear, I think. Oh, you got some gear. So sort of gear. We've got a may rot on that line that you're bringing in. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Could that be me? Could that be me? Well, you you, you weren't on his line. So Joe wasn't on your line, but. That is the worst may rot I've ever seen. Look at that fish may rot. On there. You've got a fish on there, I told look, you. Look at that, look. That's a smooth hand. <laughs> look, Chris, whose is that one? Is that, is that a dead one or? Don't know. It's going mint, what? So there's, a, there's a few rods over here. I'll see if any of them are acting strangely. No, 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 these are all right, I think. Look, just got a hound on. Give me mine from earlier. 
It's like my rod's done in, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks a lot. I've got a little, That's quite a big bite. And got, the spider's made its nest all over your rod. Yeah, he's on there, that dog. He's going. Yeah, no, you definitely got a fish. He's on coming there. seawards yeah, now. Yeah. Seawards. He's yeah, going to get seawards. on the cruise. Look at that main one. Yeah, you should come, uh, Bill. Yeah. You'd love it. Spider yeah. bit me off. Yeah. You'd love it. Yeah. I think this is from earlier. Like yeah, what I was going to say though is don't, on about it. don't ever be afraid of going on your own. I've <laughs> met so many people. No, I'm a, well, um, oh, you got a fish in there, Drew? There's some serious. And it's got a dogfish on it, has it? Yeah, the old set from earlier. Oh, I've got a pair of dogs on it. I mean, Joe's catching bloody dogfish on ghost rigs. On the old, on the old, uh... <laughs> What's going on here? Well, that was the one from earlier. The one that got stuck at the bottom. Oh, what? That's my fish. <laughs> I don't, hope you don't oh, get a bite that, now. I've got a bite. <laughs> I can't say that, it's a line of big covered in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, wishbone, look. Yeah, I'll see that, look. You're a clown. Who want a wishbone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from a week earlier. <laughs> Night, look. Get out of it, Joe. Don't. Get out of it. He's terrible, isn't he? Now. Well, is he like that home? I don't know. Don't look at me, is he? He was when he was about 12. <laughs> uh, all right, Joe, are you now? Yeah, look, look. Yeah, okay, all right, son. I'll back in a minute. She's just left a, a bring, whole trail of disaster. Big, look. Bring a big pair of shears. Yeah. <laughs> bring a big pair of shears. Yeah, yeah. He's waiting for my fish to go in the snag. That's what he's trying to do. Snag me up. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> not my brain. Not my brain. Not my brain. That's been on there five years. No. That's been on there years. Don't you touch that. Oh, my God. That's been on there five years. Best braid in the world, that one. The one that's like nine on there. Look, feel it. Even I don't know. Even I don't know what it is, Joe, that to this day. Parson said it's... Oh, oh said, that fish is still going. It's another one. <laughs> yeah, Parson says one. this is um, braid, yeah. right? Nylon. That's I braid. say it's braid, but it's a strange braid. It's so... It's, it's not... Yeah, well, that is going like the clappers now, Tony. Tony. Hey? What is it? We don't know. I don't know what it is. Well, I think you it's... Must have, you must have... Well, I put it on and I can't no, remember. Tony, stop sport. gas bagging and wind that <laughs> fish. I think it's um, X5. You know the X5 stuff? With the in, uh, they ain't got the wax on it, you know? Here we yeah, that's the way you go. That's Two dogs. Two dogs sitting oh. in the moonlight, isn't it? Get one on there. Two dogs sitting in the moonlight. There's a double on here, boy. Uh, maybe you should stick to this old pier fishing line. You're pretty good at it. Is he your mate? No, he's not winding in, is he? Yards away, isn't he? He's not winding in, though, is he? No, but he's not, no I'm just saying, he got me a minute ago. He's 90 yeah. yards away from him. He's fishing with magnets. He's fishing with magnets. Yeah. <laughs> They give themselves up, these, aren't they? Dog City, isn't it? Not down my end, that ain't. Oh, he's a bigger than this one. Woo! Oh, he's got that bloke in. Oh, no, it's Joe, isn't it? We've got someone here, look. We've got Dan. Hang on. He's over me now. Look at him. 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 Yeah, got his hair. Where's the hair, man? No organizer. Right, I think what I'll do is Makes sense. We just grab that. Like that. Oh, that needs to be. Well, that come off of there now. Yeah, if you un 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 unclip it, unclip it off your. Off your... See where it is. There. Yeah. 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 Y
going to just in there for more foot, see? That yeah, was worse. I've got that. She might have clipped it. No, you're right. Treacherous. I don't know what to do, get the dog off. Yeah. Say goodbye to the dog. And we'll say goodbye to the rig. Bit of luck. There you go, done. Job done. <laughs> you going home, are you? Up to you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm easy. I get a bit fed up with them. Only dogfish. Dogsy. And a few place winners come in as well. And a couple of place. Yeah. All right, Dan. Hello, Chris. You all right, right, mate? Yeah. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm trying not to film, film this bloke because oh, yeah? He, yeah, he, he wants oh, too much money. Uh, no, he says he, he, he's, he's wanted. Yeah, he's, he's wanted, wanted man. Man, he's yeah. wanted by the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The South Trimble African. The South African mafia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Travel with that eight pints of piss. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's into the dogs again. See, I'm not catching dog food because I don't particularly want to catch dog fish. There's <laughs> oh, plenty there, isn't there? Yeah, well, there ain't. <laughs> I've got dog repellent on my hooks, I think. I think my snoods are too short. Are you using crab, are you? Only this chuck, but oh. alternating between a... Yeah. This is a clip rig, quite yeah. long, but the other rigs, that's just a short flapping rig. Oh, right, OK. Just try and find something different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't have to go far, do you? On a, no. Usually on the pier, but... No. Try and something might get something different, that's all. <laughs> So the secret of casting from the pier is you use the back of the pier to lower your, your weight down so that you can get a decent decent cast. And then as usual Joe's casting to the horizon. You snagged that way. I think he's got a rope out there. I think there's that much fishing tackle out there as well. He's probably got a ball of it. I'm using the five hours lens and I think they're getting washed down tide. Yeah, there's a lot of tide there though. Yeah. So Tony's having a go with a bit of bit of peeler crab, just for the last chuck. Yeah, yeah nice little bait, bait there. there. Yeah. Another bed with <laughs> four things on it instead of five. Oh, I'll reel in and put six out for him. Oh, hounding then. Hounding, hounding those fish. Yeah. Let's go hound. Nice dog, isn't it? Don't just leave it on there. Chris. Yeah, they always Chris. Chris. Yeah. Leave it on there. Leave it on there. Yeah. Yeah. Calm down. Daniel. Daniel. Unless you want to lose it. It's strong. <laughs> Look at old Tony Angelino. I know, but he's going to strike it and lose it, isn't he? It's there. Whoa. Yeah. Let it have it. Look at him, he can't get away from it. Yeah, I know, but that's... They don't, play with it. Don't. Not on a hardy. You're on the field, you're on the field. He lost the big one before, didn't, didn't he? he? Pulled into it and lost it. Yeah. Hey, here, Chris, remember the other night my Rob's game and that? Chris. Nuts, wasn't it? And you pick it up, there's nothing there. Yeah. Chris, if it's right. on there... Tells lies. Chris, if it's on there, it ain't going to get off. Right, OK. Well, ain't on there. It's on there, isn't it? You're going to pull out its cup. It's there. Oh! Oh yes. Good one, Dad. Tea? No, I think no, I'm all right. No, I'm fine, thank you. No, no. Steering, steer line. Yeah, Chris. Leave me alone, could you? But it's still tugging. <laughs> <laughs> what man? Good boy. It's still there. That jacket would be a good one. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
At least we can go home now. You can well, yeah, we're 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 keep really in that slow. You can shut some stick. Yeah. It won't come off. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no. He's got on there, corner of the cob. Corner of the cob. Corner of the cob on the top, look. Corner of the cob. Looks like a dongle. Dongle, eh? Got a corner of the cob on there. That's, uh, John, that's a big that's one. Proper May right, I tell you what, I've never seen it. You see it like that normally? Yeah. 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 Hey, Joe, oh, we've got to stay a bit time. longer now, Tony. Oh, so, not a blank. And that was on the top circle, look, strange enough. Leading, Joe, got to lean it on. Lean it on. My boy. No, he's leaning on. Yeah, you got you you've got some uh, crab on there, haven't you? So yeah, somebody's yeah. swimming around down there. We've got Ray Morton, two dogs, dog up the arse. Yeah, Ray Morton. Swimming from side to side. There's a lot of speculation what this could be. Oh, it's always a ray, a ray and a dog. Nice ray. Size two, one of yours. No, it's not. Oh. And that fresh bit of crab, one fresh crab peeler I had. Oh, one peeler. Oh, oh, it's in the wing. It's in the wing. Oh, it's in the wing. Oh, it's only just hooked in the corner. Wing, wing. He wanted it. Don't worry about the mouth. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. See the wing. Don't worry about that. Yeah, let's get it out first. Let's do the presentation picture. Come on. Look at that. <laughs> Face mask. Try this tail out. I can't. I've got. A rod everywhere. Give me a rod. <laughs> you don't want to play. Skating chips, sir. <laughs> I've got it. So that's why your line had gone right down tied. Yeah. Yeah, you just come out of it. Zoom down there, didn't it? Well done. So well done, Joe. It is. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. What a handsome looking fish. What a what a handsome looking fish. What a, what a handsome looking fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> One fresh crab I had. Right, well, we've, we're done. Um, Tony's winding in. He's got his gear in. I've got to get mine in. We'll pack up and we'll go. It's been a, an interesting day. We've done some interesting fish caught. Uh, it wasn't a blank, which is good. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed it. So if you want to know more about fishing Eastbourne Pier, give us a shout, leave us a message, and we'll get back to you. But uh, it's a great place to fish, and it's very, very friendly. Um, it's like a social club, actually. And we've had a lovely day, so uh, catch you later. Let's, have, let's let Tony say good night. So it's good night from me, and it's good night from him. And good night from me. Yeah, good day. Lovely day, yeah, yeah. fantastic, thank you. And, and as he's here, it's good night from Joe. See ya, thank you. And I'm sorry I don't know you. Dan. Dan. Thank you for yeah. letting us fish. Yeah, thanks for letting us fish and film yeah. and all the other stuff. Yeah, See, look, there's, there's, there's where the bass are, where them seagulls are. Yeah. I'm a lime. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yes, all day, actually. That's why. You never know what you're going to find on the pier. <laughs> <laughs>
It's like a different world, isn't it? You walk off the pier where you've been fishing, and then you're like stepping back into the real world again. Yeah. It's surreal. And a red telephone box. A red telephone box no, and a green bus called Megan.